So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please meet the E Cascadia. Oh, stop, stop. Guys, no music, no music. You, you want to hear the E Cascadia drive in. So what do, you, what do you think? It's quite a beauty, isn't it, yeah? This version, this version, and, and it's just yet one configuration, this version of the Cascadia is configured with E-motors at the axle ends that provide 730 peak horsepower. The batteries provide 550 kilowatt hours of usable capacity. And the vehicle in this configuration has a range of 250 miles. And better yet, we have created the ability to recharge the batteries up to 80% of their capacity in about 90 minutes, giving the driver another 200 miles of electrified range. When you look at these stats, this is just our starting point. We will answer the same questions on e-trucks that we have been answering for trucks at Daimler since we rolled out our first commercial vehicle in 1896. How can we improve the range? How can we improve the payload? How can we reduce its energy consumption? And most importantly, how can we improve the real cost of ownership for our customers? Let me tell you a little bit about this truck. When the driver sits in the captain's seat, they will find that the truck is equipped with state-of-the-art driver instrumentation and a human-machine interface, HMI as we call it, designed to provide vehicle performance data in the driver's field of view. The HMI allows the operators to make quick and informed decisions for optimizing the performance of the battery electric powertrain to match their use case needs. So let's talk a little bit about customer use cases for these types of vehicles. The Class A tractor here is designed for local in regional distribution and drage, especially the short haul movement of intermodal containers, be they from rail yards or from shipyards. Overall, this is an ideal application for customers whose routes have a distinct range radius and its operating model provides time for battery recharging. The rail and ocean port applications are well suited because the trucks make two to three round trips per day on a dedicated route from the port to the staging lot. The trucks, the trucks travel less than 150 miles per day and they are able to charge overnight at dedicated charging stations. The driving environment for these types of trucks and these applications is very predictable. We're also addressing the needs for inner city and urban pickup and delivery, beverage and short haul applications as well. For our customers operating in the pickup and delivery services, they are typically running on a more or less dedicated route. We will install battery charging stations at consistent locations to provide the customer the ability to make round trips from their warehouses to multiple points around the city, anticipating that they're going to be running less than 150 miles per day. Now, other use cases abound, but in the heavy duty segment, you will find us concentrating initially on port drage and this short haul pickup and delivery uh, types of applications. We also foresee a battery electric vehicle in our medium duty market. With this in mind, we also set out to develop an e-sibling to our successful and high performing M2. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the EM2. Okay, oh, oh, come on guys, guys. I know usually we make this great fanfare with smoke and mirrors and music, but you really got to hear this, or not. This first generation of the EM2 has 480 peak horsepower. 
It has 325 kilowatts of usable battery capacity, giving it a range of about 230 miles. And in 60 minutes, you can get about an 80% charge back up on the battery, battery, giving the driver another 180 miles of range. Like with the eCascadia, we will be taking advantage of the stop and go traffic in the city to recharge the battery through regenerative uh, braking technology. Now, it's easy to find use cases for the EM2 today. It's, along with the school bus, it makes the most business sense for the deployment of battery electric vehicles. And we expect high customer demand for this truck when we make it available in series production sometime in the next two to three years. I personally am really excited about the potential of the EM2. So, where are we going next? What's, you know, a couple nice show trucks, what's next? This year, this year, 2018, write that down, we will be deploy deploying our Freightliner Electric Innovation Fleet. The Freightliner Electric Innovation Fleet. Starting with the delivery of the first 30 E-Cascadias EM2s to our customers. To customers that are hauling real freight from real shipping docks to real receiving docks in real cities here around America. So we're not announcing today our participating customers, but stay tuned for some announcement this, this announcements this autumn where we'll showcase not only the whole fleet of trucks, but the applications we're putting them in. Thank you.